most publishers seem to prefer hardware decode, particularly on mobile, because it gives them both uh, 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second, and it doesn't decay battery life. What do you, you know, what, what can you tell me to make me feel better about deploying AV1 on a mobile device that doesn't have a hardware decoder but has the David decoder? So, so, so one of the things that we've, we've seen is that in some cases, actually software decoding is faster than hardware decoding. Um, it's also sometimes, especially at lower resolution and the bit rates, it's sometimes not increasing the battery, um, decre increasing the power consumption. Because, well, the, the hardware decoders on the software are basically DSPs, right? So you have to turn them, them on in order to do the decoding. So on, on lower resolution, lower bit rates, the difference in battery life is not that big, right? But as soon as you start going up, then it starts to become important so it's a trade-off right like like and i know that some people are looking at streaming av1 on lower bit rates and then stop doing that on higher bit rates because that's where they think they will find the most gains and also the most um uh, without battery killing too much the battery because of course like okay you want decoding in software mostly when you have like 10 20 megabits per second this is expensive. And mostly, the most expensive part is the entropy decoding. 